Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Potion Craft, where today we have some slightly more complicated goals ahead of us. Uh, repairing the alchemy machine and buying a page for the recipe book obviously are things that we're just going to have to wait for an opportunity to do, so we're probably hoarding money for those. Uh, create a potion with three different effects is something we can maybe work on. Popularity of five is just sell a bunch of potions and don't, um, don't kick people out, right? Yeah, okay, don't haggle too much either. Um, and then lightning, stone skin, and sleep. These are all just potion effects that we haven't found yet, I imagine. There's still, there's still a fair amount of space to explore on this map. I don't know, does it actually go all the way out? Oh yeah, it does, it does have an ending. Jeez, that's wild. Okay. Uh, so for three effects, it feels to me like this is sort of like an easy crescent to grab some stuff. Maybe like... If we go and get f fire first, life leaf to, the, to this thing, and then we probably want to go left more than right. So we start by going, we, we life leaf ourselves to here, then fire bell to there, then climb and yeah, that should be, that should be really doable, right? And we don't have to be very precise with this. I don't know that anybody's ever going to want to buy the uh, monstrosity of a potion we're talking about building here, so. Oh, what am I, that should have been ground. I'm forgetting how the game works already. I mean, I guess it works out just fine, though. Let's not grind it all the way. All right. So we'll add this effect. And then over to the poison. It's a potion of healing, but also poison. What is this potion useful for? Nothing. Almost certainly do not consume this under any circumstances. It's going to be very confusing for your body. So what is my plan for going up left from here? Basically, like, should I? Yeah, let's use our last mad mushroom here. I'm kind of curious if a little bit of mad mushroom movement will get me a tier two on this. Oh, no, I overdid it. Shit. Well, all right. We'll just take the tier one version of the effect. Healing and poisoning. And then finish making that movement. We'll grind this a little bit. I think like that, just, just a gentle, a gentle breakup of the leaves. And then actually this I'll go all the way on and then we could use some water to pull it back toward the center. So this will overflow. I'm assuming it will just add two points. Okay, it pushes one of the first points off of the potion. Interesting. So a strong potion of fire, healing, and poisoning. Uh, I'm going to call this... Uh, this, one, this one is for wings. And also popcorn. It's great on popcorn. Hooray! Goals! We're doing it. Because we did, we did have to do a custom name. Alright. So, we still need to find lightning, stone, skin, and sleep. I think let's go deal with customers for the day. Make our money, buy what we can. I'm a wandering merchant. I was passing your shop and decided to stop in. I think you might like some of my goods, and I don't mind buying some of yours. What do you sell? Uh, okay, just kind of whatever. Well, show me what you got there, bro. I do need some enchanted paper, it turns out. This is a bad price. But I don't know when we're next going to see a person who can sell us this. And then he's got some interesting ingredients that we've not seen before. I kind of don't want to buy anything else, though.
Wow, I can get up to minus 60 off if I do this right. Because I want to make sure we have enough money for whatever alchemical parts. Uh, yeah, good stuff. Well, hello. I heard there was a new alchemist in town, so I came to say hi. I'm the local sorceress. <laughs> you know, we just have those. Uh, do you happen to carry poison in your shop? Now, why would a witch need poison? Sometimes our witch recipes call for poison and human blood, but I'll get that myself somehow. <laughs> I love the idea of her just being very friendly about it. What about this? This has some poison in it. No? All right. Well, I can just, uh, yeah, I can do just a normal poison. Hold on a second, please. Uh, all right. Do I have a recipe in my recipe book for just like a weak ass poison? Yeah, that's pretty cheap. Terraria plus Firebell. Can I do better, do I think? Yeah, the Firebell doesn't get you very far over. I think I would have to, I'd have to go a little bit further. I kind of wonder, what if I go, what if we grind up a stink mushroom here? A second stink mushroom could get us just past, and then we can just use water to uh, to bring the effect back in line. So if I grind it to like here, the question is whether I can get us a three. I think we're pretty much on the line. There it is. Okay. Uh, that is pretty boss. I am going to dump this recipe from the book. Let's add that really badass poison recipe. And here you go. Don't kill anybody I wouldn't kill. And we are not doing any haggling. Greetings. I had a brilliant idea yesterday to brew a beer that warms your bones even on the coldest days. People would pay a pretty penny for it in the northern provinces. The recipe's almost ready, but for the beer to always be warm, I need something like a liquid fire. What else do you add to your beer? Well, actually, the recipe for my beer is a big secret. All I can say is I add five types of fiery pepper to this one. But, okay. How would you like... It, it will harm you very badly, but it will also heal you from the harm. I would pay more for something higher grade and one without side effects. Well, too fucking bad. Take this one. Uh, I... Uh... Hello. Any desire for some mushrooms? Uh, I'm gonna wink back. This might end in sex. I guess let's find out. Winking another eye. So, are, are, are you going to buy some mushrooms? Okay, no, good. Um, cheap, relatively cheap sulfur shelf. I don't, I don't think so. Hey there, I'm trying to catch a mean fish. Believe it or not, the little thing breathes fire. I do not believe that on account of it being underwater and everything. Could I give you a frost potion? Uh, if the fish swallows it, maybe its heat will back off a bit, right? I mean, I guess that's... Sorry, fire-breathing fish? Ha, <laughs> and not only. I have all the luck with strange fish. I've caught piranha and even a zombie fish once. So fire-breathing fish are nothing new to me. Piranha's not that... Piranha's just a normal kind of fish that exists in the world. I don't... Whatever. Ah, yes. Okay, we have a, we have a good recipe here. Let's just throw that together. Okay. Sorry, I need to back out of this dialogue bit. Bam! That's right, that potion is perfect. Tell your friends. Oh, my firewood is damp. I don't even know how- I don't know how I'm gonna make a fire in my oven now. Could you help me out with some fire? I could probably help you out with some fire. That seems very doable. 
Here's the thing, I'm great at potions. I need a potion to create agile and stealthy minions. They can steal things and bring it all to me. Yeah, that sounds sensible. Wait, is this? Yeah, that's just a level one, huh? You do 50 for it? Hold on a second. Uh, that effect is in like a weird place, isn't it? Hmm. So I don't really have the ability to reach out to that side very much. I'm just gonna give him the one we have. Minus 11 uh, says nothing. I will, I will say, can I help you? Looks around the room. I'm gonna help. I'm also looking around the room. Seems to suddenly remember something and turns toward the exit. Are you sure you don't need anything? Stops for a second, but then leaves. That's curious. Hmm. Alright, let's just rest because I want I want a new batch of ingredients here. What a curious encounter. Okay, that's new. What do you do? Like a fuzzy pod, a banana, and a boomerang all in one. Can you shave this banana? You sure can. <laughs> what a weird thing to write on purpose. Okay. Greetings, Alchemist. I brought gifts of mountains. Who are you buying? Uh, who are you and what are you selling? Well, I'm a miner. I dig, make tunnels, look for gifts of mountains, stones, minerals, crystals. Sell some. Rare gems. My goods not cheap. Well, I guess show me. Oh, wow. Yeah, no kidding. Um, I don't even know what that symbol means. Because that's not the symbol, yeah. Huh, I'm not buying any of this, but that's interesting. Again, still saving parts for alchemy machine, or money for alchemy machine parts. We're heading out soon to rob some caravans. They're holding a lot of loot, but they're also well guarded. I need a protective or strengthening potion of some kind. I'll pay extra for a potion made from three types of ingredients. Okay, okay. So, what could we do here? I mean, it's really easy to make a strength potion out of terraria. Is that or protective? I hope it's like a lot extra. All right, we're gonna take this as an opportunity to really get a good center on that thing. So I think my plan is gonna be a life leaf. followed by a fire bell. I think that's about as good as we're gonna get there. Actually, you know what? Does water count as an ingredient? No, it doesn't, because there's already water in it, right? It's water is the base. I wonder if I could turn this into a three. Hell yeah, let's get extra paid. I don't think I'm gonna save that recipe. All right, how does this do? Hell yeah. They say you make potions that really work. Cool, great. That's exactly what I want my customers to think. I need to put the guards to sleep so I can get into the vault. Okay, so we're, we're getting to a point here where we're basically exclusively serving criminals. <laughs> I'm fine with it. A sleeping potion. 
So this, this we don't know, but this was on my list, wasn't it? Yeah, potion of sleep. So, where could it be? It could be over here. That wouldn't be unreasonable. Let's check this area out. There's a lot of good reason to go to the right, given where the um, all the XP gains are. We don't have anything that descends. Yeah, I'm, we should we should throw one more water bloom in here before we start descending diagonally. All right, let's start with that. I was trying to just grab this and di drag this over. Well, I mean, that's something. Do I want to try to dial it in a little bit? Because we could go to like here. Tell your friends. Uh, herbs. Okay. Also, you need a potion. You see, there's this place where I used to gather ingredients, but almost nothing grows there anymore. The plants are growing back oh so slowly. I was wondering if you could make a potion that would make them grow faster. Then I could bring you even more kinds of herbs. Well, it just so happens. Alright. So... I'm a little short on life leaf. We use it a ton. I have a bunch of money and this is a good price. I'm gonna go ahead and take all of the life leaf you have. Tangleweed, I don't know if I need tangleweed. We have a bunch of terraria. I think it's just this for now. And let's have a nice conversation about how easy it is to do alchemy. This is me flattering her, I assume. It's like, gee, I could never be an herbalist. All I can handle is all of this mixture and whatnot. I love stealing. I don't do it for money. I just like it. Do you have a potion that'll help me do it more nimbly? Yeah, I mean, I could probably... You shouldn't say that out loud, my dude. Uh, so... What do you think? Nimbly. Is he talking about swiftness or is he talking about dexterity? I can't actually make him a dexterity potion. I guess let's brew this. Okay, so he did want a dexterity. Can I make that happen? Not really. Yeah, three water bloom is not going to get us there. All right. I kind of want our reputation to, like, tack quite negative. I think that's fun. But we may just have to run this guy off. We could use a combination of life leaf and wind bloom to... No, we still, we're just not going to make it far enough to the right. All right, I'm kicking you out. They say that poison is a coward's weapon. I think the poison is just the solution to a lot of problems caused by other people. So I need some of that solution. Yeah. Yeah, that I can do. I love poisons. And I'm really good at them. I need a potion that will help me run or hide from guards. Well, it just so happens. 
made fresh today. I need a potion that will help me run from the guards faster, and I'm prepared to pay handsomely for your best potion. Oh, listen, you could not handle my best potion. All right, so the swiftest potion that we have in the book requires a ton of stuff we don't have. Does anything else really carry me upward? No, right? Yeah, so I would just, I would need a bunch of wind bloom that I do not have. Oh, that's not what I wanted. What I wanted was this. You could not handle my strongest potions. Okay. So what is left? Lightning and stone skin and the repair of the alchemy machine, of course. Uh, you know what? Let's just get more ingredients. Gosh, we sure have some fire bloom. Fire bell. You know, whatever it's called. I have a bad case of the runs. Got anything that could treat it? Uh, a healing potion with some wild growth mixed in? I guess that's healing. Greetings. I need more poison. I don't think I need to remind you of the terms of our deal. I do not remember you. Don't take it personally. I'm going into the woods to track game. I could use a potion to help me hunt better. Uh, tracking game, huh? Hold on a second. Tracking game. Uh, I don't think any of my potions are going to help with that. I think my potion of light will help him see the tracks better. Nope. Okay. So my guess is that he just wants the general purpose, um, one of these. Yeah, all right. Listen, people are always after this thing. Even if he doesn't want it, somebody else will want it. Uh, okay. Use a potion. There's a hidden nook in the forest where some interesting mushrooms grow. Winks. I hate the winking. I hate it so much. But it's full of mounds and jutting out roots. To get across them without twisting an ankle requires incredible dexterity. Yeah, everybody everybody is always after incredible dexterity. Okay. I think I am going to go ahead and buy a bunch of expensive mushrooms because we have a lot of money. I'm going to do this. We're going to haggle, of course. So I could bring it down 173. This is definitely harder. I'm just going to do this. I seem to have gotten better at the haggling. All right. I think those are going to be very effective. Alchemist, I have a problem. I'm incredibly clumsy. Damn it. Yeah, well, I've run out of fucking... You people. I cannot help you with this. I need a potion that will help my crops ripen faster. Nature is just too slow sometimes. Yeah, that can be dealt with. Nope, that also needed water bloom. Shit, okay, hold on. Can I get there without water bloom? Maybe. Because we could certainly use some life leaf to make it a pretty significant portion of the way. And then like maybe end up below it and climb up using a little bit of wind bloom.
don't think we have anything that goes upright very cleanly. So yeah, we're gonna have to construct this out of, well, we have this. I mean, no point in having the mushroom if you're not going to use it, right? So this might be like grind it to here and then apply water. to break that apart so that I didn't end up too deep in the bones. Ah, I can't quite get the three. Whatever, it'll be fine. My husband recently left me for another woman, and I eventually found their love nest, and I just can't let him be happy with someone else. I want him to feel the fire of my jealousy. I want their home and their feelings to go down in flames. Okay, I mean, this is not the most productive desire, but I get where you're coming from. I want to be faster so I can pickpocket quickly in, in crowds. Yeah, it seems reasonable to me. killing it on the money is it really the case that i just need to wait yeah find a merchant who can sell you parts hmm all right let's go exploring so i think we want to check up here because we have easy ingredients for that plus this will take us through some experience like we could just do more mad mushrooms here. What do you think? Left or I guess I don't have any straight up anymore, do I? Shoot. Uh, left it is then. <laughs> Okay, so we could we could search up here. I mean, there's certainly some uh, certainly some experience to be had in doing so. But I think I am now going to drop down and go uh, <laughs> and go left again. I'm gonna go all the way down here. I know this is an inefficient route, but I think it was worth it for the XP. I really wish I had a straight up right now. Cause the thing is, I wanna I wanna check. So that's gonna go that far. I'm not gonna mash this at all. I'm really curious. I think I'm gonna get um, into some trouble here. I think we're gonna lose this potion. Ah. Oh, there is something up there and I just can't, I can't go in that direction at all. No, <laughs> heartbreaking. Uh, okay. 
Do I have, I don't even have, I don't even have generally left. Cause we could use the fact that the fire bell peaks upward in combination with some stuff that carries you leftward. Um, yeah, all right, well, not super jazzed about this one. Carefully mash these hairy bananas. I just want to go to the leftmost edge of the thing there. Yep, everything is go upward from here. See that there are skulls right here. I'm trying to mash this just enough. Oh boy. Do we have a way to go? Yeah, 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 like this. Let's see if we can get out of the bones here. Oh, just barely. And then into more bones. And there's no way to not, like, even if I add something, I'm adding it to where the X currently is. So I do believe I have killed us here. Yeah. We could burn something trying to get out. I mean... It was just a it was just a life leaf to attempt to save it. Like we could afford that. Speaking of life leaf and the ability to afford that, since we can't go up basically at all, I think another another thing we could do that might be useful is to go all the way down here. You know, we're pulling good XP at least, right? It's something. where that puts us. Not exactly where I would like to be, honestly. Let's maybe steer out of this a little. cauldron. There we go. And once again, with no ability to go up, we are in kind of an awkward spot here. So what I want to do is I want to get down and left a little bit. Like a non-ground stink mushroom. Yeah, let's see about this. I hope that that doesn't kill me. Ooh, okay, it was close. So we add some water here. Ah, I overdid it on the water. Well, let's see what this is. It's a potion of slowness. All right, well, I mean, make it. That was not one of our active goals. That was a goal for next chapter, okay. Lightning and stone skin, and it's certainly, 
kind of hard to replicate. A real pain in the ass. You go see what's over here. I do want to check out, like, down and left, which I don't feel like we have very good vision of. So what I might do, actually, is just grind up some Firebell, then we hit the, um, uh, where is it? The Mudrooms. Can travel quite a bit off of some of those Mudrooms. I'm always saying this. This is a long journey into darkness. I worry that I might um, I might get us into some trouble if I commit fully here. But I bet it's safe to be like here. And then we'll just, we'll see. Oh, what? I was in there for just like the tiniest bit too long, huh? This might not work either, honestly. Because, yeah, I never go like that deep into the, the bones, but I'm in contact with the bones for a long time. Okay. Grab XP. Now maybe we use a fire bell. Followed by a mud shroom. That keeps me sort of in the open. Narrowly avoiding every source of experience. Hmm. All right, I think we can do this safely. And then, gosh, look at all the uh, look at all the opportunities for XP. Yeah, wow, there's so much. And then a dead end. Um, that's probably not a good way to do that. there isn't really a good way to get out of here. That's going to kill us for sure, right? Yeah, and with these ingredients, I have very limited ability to move through. I mean, we could try this. I'm going to try this. Just go straight through the thin part. Yeah. It, <laughs> it does look like I've de dead-ended myself now, though. Let's get a little bit more vision. There's no way I make it through anymore. All right. I'll toss that, but we've got some good exploration done. And some decent XP earned. We're looking for four talent points before we get the next thing. Gosh, some days you do not get very much. I'm happy to see all the water bloom, though. Hello, Alchemist. The residents of a nearby village asked me to deal with the ghouls that have been terrorizing them. Apparently, they have a nest somewhere near the village, and to destroy it, I'll need a bomb, or something combustible, at least. Well, I have great news for you. I'm the local Alchemist. It's me. Hi, everybody. I was working in the fields recently and found a strange chest buried in the ground. I think it's treasure. But there's a catch. The chest doesn't have a keyhole. How can I open it? I like it when a potion's ingredients are simple and clear. I'll play extra if there's no more than two types of ingredients in the potion. So I'm thinking explosion, which we made out of 
mad mushrooms last time and we can't do that again. Where was the explosion? Oh, that's right. Mad mushrooms are up and left. This is a little tricky. With our current ingredients, I don't know that I can do this. Because it would be some combination of fire bell and... Well, okay, I guess I, well, I didn't realize. We could just go around here and come back up. Yeah, all right. There's some sulfur shelf at the problem. All right, I should probably actually put this in the potion. Pretty roundabout, but it's gonna work. Oh, he wanted, well, he'll pay extra if it's two ingredients. He'll still pay if it is more complicated. Plus this gives us a little bit of vision of new areas. And it's a lot of XP. Do we want to keep going and then loop back to this thing? Because I have some life leaf. If we go up here, yeah, I want to I wanna just see more information. There's this that we know about. Okay, looks like maybe there's not really anything else of value over here. Well, we got a little bit of extra XP at least. Well, actually, this isn't going to get ground at all. Sorry. There we go. Just very cautiously. All right. I think this is probably going to do it. I don't know if you actually wanted a potion this strong. Yeah, I know what you want. Just take this. Hello, Alchemist. How is business? I heard about a rare fish spotted nearby. It comes out at night and only eats fireflies. Do you follow? If you could just give me some kind of glowing potion, I'll make bait for just for that fish and catch it. How do you use my potions for bait anyway? Well, I take a worm and dunk it in the potion so it lights up. Yeah, all right. That's pretty solid. <clears throat> I'm more concerned with um, gaining popularity than I am with money. Uh, hi. Still have enough herbs? You should always have a small stock handy. Hey, what do you do when you're not gathering herbs? I'm definitely not hitting on you. I usually go deep into the woods, choose a picturesque, a picturesque spot, and listen to the birds sing. I even try to sing myself if no one is listening. Pretty classic elf stuff, I guess. Uh, do you have... Yes, you do. You have... Li oh, sorry, that's life leaf. I don't need that. I need this. I'm I'm willing to pay an extreme amount for a bunch of <laughs> wind bloom. Wind bloom is so hard to come by. Uh, good berry's fine. It kind of just does what life leaf does, though, right? Thunder thistle's weird. I'll pay something of a premium for weird. Or I will, I will refuse to pay a premium and instead buy a thing that's very on sale. All right, let's haggle. Hopefully that's still enough for machine parts. A freezing potion. Do I have one of those on hand? I don't. I like this guy, he's very straightforward. Wow, not a very good price. My companions and I are planning to rob someone. Do you happen to have a potion that can give us strength? 
Also, I'll pay extra if it uses life leaf. Okay, is that how how weird of a thing to do is that? Where's strength? Strength is straight down. It would not be that hard to work a tiny bit of life leaf in. Oops, I didn't. <clears throat> Gotta remember to put the, the stuff in the cauldron. It's a good XP for us anyway today. Yep, and this is where the life leaf comes in. Good enough. I'm 52 for a potion she says she's not paying very much for. Still not bad. Hello. As you know, good beer should be enjoyed cold. Except for that last beer I made, disregard that. Now I think this. But it's hard to keep it that way in the summer or in southern climes. I want to brew a beer that will always stay cold. And it'll have little mountains on the label that will turn colors at different temperatures so you can tell this is a great idea. Do you visit the south often? <laughs> Not really. A friend of mine visits from down there. He keeps a tavern and buys my beer. That same friend asked me to invent a beer that always stays cold. Okay, I feel like that's just duplicating information. Do I have the stuff for cold beer? Oh, I sure do. There's a door I need to open, but my lockpick doesn't work on it. Do you have something that can help? Mm, maybe. I mean, acid might do the thing. All right, I had to eventually get something out of that potion. So, we have some interesting stuff. Do we have the ability to reach this? We got a bunch of wind bloom. So I think starting with a little sulfur shelf just to get a lot of leftward movement probably makes sense. Do we want to try to go under? No, probably not. Do this, then we'll throw in some wind bloom. It's actually kind of a huge pain in the ass to get up here. Uh, I don't love that. The way it's gonna brush us through that um, a tangle of stuff at the top right, but I guess I don't have anything where I feel like I can adjust this slightly. Well, actually, no, I can with the thunder thistle. I can get us higher up and slightly to the side. Like this, maybe? And then a wind bloom from here. Oh, it it brushes us up right. I moved us up, so the leftward curve is no longer a concern. Now it's the rightward curve. Ah. Well. This is definitely wrong now. Maybe I just allow it. <clears throat> Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna see. Maybe we'll make it through fast enough. I have pretty bad, pretty bad feeling about it though. And we do not have the ingredients to try to get this far to the left again, so hopefully this works. All 
right, I'm nervous. I got a little overexcited there. Okay, made it through. So, do I want to spend a little bit more trying to dial this in? I could go get the XP there and then water bloom us back. It's a lot of XP. I'm going to do that. What if we use Thunder Thistle to return us instead? Go to like here and then use some water just to dial it in. Perfect. Very expensive recipe. Libido. That is quite an illustration for that. Uh, yeah. Oh, I have extra pages now, don't I? No, I don't. Did I not use... I... Oh, I didn't realize that we had... Um... Okay, you, no, you do have to buy this stuff from merchants. Didn't I buy extra pages? I thought I bought enchanted paper. I may not, I don't think I like used it though. Do I have to use it somehow from a screen somewhere? Oh, what is this? Legendary recipes. Huh. Okay, this is a whole thing. All right, hold on. Leave this right here. Because I kind of want to save this recipe. All right, let's just boot something else. Uh, what do I not need? I probably don't need both of these dexterity potions. Yeah. Let's dump this one. Okay, well that's definitely not a thing I was looking for. That was a chapter five goal, in fact. <laughs> Interesting, it's not really that hard to get to. Well, I guess a lot of it is just about finding out what's out there in the dark, right? All right, so what if we go past this? There's a lot of room up there. Oh, wait, put it in the thing. There we go. want to just do one more of those before I start veering. What would it be like to put this in? Okay, so that's probably not a good idea just yet. If I just put this in, well, I mean, this is just XP, right? Let me, let me mash this, I guess. Awfully curious what's over there. Okay, well, we have something. Let's see. Lightning. Okay. That is actually really excellent. Uh, worth dumping another recipe out of the book for? Some stuff's really easy to make. And so maybe I don't need to have a recipe like on hand for it. Yeah, like we probably don't need a potion of healing recipe. It's a common enough request, but also they're super easy. So, stone skin. Well, we have enough of this to go up and check out uh, the left side as well. 
Might as well. Might as well. No, that's probably not a good idea. We don't have a ton of fire bell left, but it's enough to get some exploration done. So yeah, down looks like it's not really, it's not anything real. It's just a, a big boatload of XP, which is certainly not a terrible thing. Thunder Thistle to go up, just because I'm trying to be cautious with the remaining uh, our last wind loom here. Okay, that's something. Do I have a good access for that? Not really. The fire bell will get me closest. I go like here then I can I can do the rest with a thunder thistle yeah pretty good shot a strong potion of charm hmm what else is really easy to make what else do I probably not need a Saved recipe for. Strength is easy to make. It's also annoying. Yeah, the frost potion's not a bad example. Uh, this is this is probably the cleanest example. This thing's super easy. Okay. Well, again, not what I was looking for. Kicking ass on chapter four and five rules, though. Stone skin, gosh. Where could you be? You can't be that far out and still be this tier, I think. Do I think there could be one here? Probably not, right? Like, how close are... Well, you know what? Some of them are not that far apart. Alright, can I reach that realistically? I can use this goblin shroom to get pretty far down left, but I'm not going to be able to down left too effectively after that. The dryad saddle, dryad saddle will take you down a lot more than it'll take you left. I think we have to probably wrap it for the day. I just don't... I don't have enough basic movement stuff. Maybe I didn't actually buy that enchanted paper. Maybe I didn't... The sale didn't go through. I didn't click enough or something. Yeah, I guess not. All right, it's fine. We'll get there. Okay, so our garden has produced some interesting stuff. I think this, though, is probably a good place to call it for today. We've made some friends in town. We've become known for helping with certain kinds of deeds. I actually do kind of want to crash our um, our evil meter all the way out to negative 100 just to see what kinds of things get offered to us. Um, but also, we've done a tremendous amount of exploration. I feel like we're in really good shape to provide potions to the community for a, a wide and bizarre range of needs. Uh, so come back next time to see how we can leverage that toward even more victory. And we'll see you then.